If you've been thinking about pursuing a passive income opportunity in 2023 or beyond, but you're looking for something new, fresh, creative, exciting, you're in the right place. I came up with over 50 passive income ideas while researching for this video, and I narrowed it down to my favorite seven potentially lucrative opportunities you should definitely consider for 2023. And I cheated a little, so it's really more like 12 or maybe even 20. So under promise, over deliver. But that is not all. Stick around until the end because I have a huge announcement about the future of the money resolution i think you'll want to hear it's big and it changes everything for this channel my name is frankie let me know which of today's income streams interest you the most or what passive income streams you're excited about in the comments and let's get to it my first two passive income streams will help you make extra money from your property without renting out your home number one rent camping space in your backyard if you have a decently sized yard with grass and perhaps a little privacy, you might wanna consider renting space for camping. Even with a small yard or really any vacant land that you own, you should consider this if you're close to tourist attractions. Where do you list your yard for rent? Hipcamp.com, gamping.com, tenter.com and campspace.com are sites that I found. I would say that hip camp looks the best in my opinion. You'll likely need to provide a bathroom and running water. Ideally, you'll also provide parking, a space for trash and or access to an outdoor electrical outlet. Before committing, research your city and county's real estate ordinances for regulations regarding camping on residential properties. It could be prohibited or there might be restrictions on the number of nights you can have a tent in your yard. Consider checking rules about campfires, if you have space for that. And if you have an HOA, check in with them, double check your insurance. And okay, sure, it sounds like a decent amount of hurdles, but it could be a lucrative and very easy income opportunity once you get set up, especially if Airbnb interests you, but you don't wanna rent out space to strangers in your home. Number two, turn your property into an event space or dog park. Similarly, you can use your property or land for events. For example, a charity or nonprofit event, a photo shoot location, or or even a wedding venue. We considered having our wedding at this beautiful Sanders estate in Auburn, Washington, but yeah, you'd need a pretty nice house to host a wedding. So my favorite way to use your yard for income that's easier than all of that is to use your property as a space for dogs or pets. You can do this through a great site called Sniff Spot. I was surprised to see there are dozens of yards for rent in my area and they charge anywhere from $5 to $20 an hour, a price many dog owners would be happy to pay for a great safe off-leash spot. Be considerate of your neighbors, of course, monitor the wear and tear potentially on your yard and consider a business license, but a dog park sounds like a great opportunity for 2023. I read that some people are making 1300 or more a month. So bow, wow, I, sorry. Number three, rent out your stuff. I'm gonna include a lot for this list because it's more versatile than you're probably thinking. If you have a truck, you can rent it out on Fetch and make up to $1,800 a month. If you own an RV, you can rent it out on RV Share. If you have a car, you can rent it on Turo. If you have a spare room, you can list it on Airbnb. You can rent out a parking space on a handful of sites that you see on screen. You can rent storage space on Neighbor, rent your boat, jet skis, golf carts, you get the idea. But you can also list and rent general items like appliances, instruments, a bike, furniture, tools, golf clubs, electronics, baby gear, and more on sites like Fat Llama, Loanables, and Renta to earn up to $3,000 a month. So take a look around right now. Your passive income answer might be literally within sight. Number four, seek out alternative investments. And I love this one for 2023. Specifically, I'm talking about, I guess, six attractive opportunities. These include investing in farmland, wine, art, metals, real estate, and even sports memorabilia. Because of how far technology has come, it's now easier than ever to invest in these asset classes that were once only available for institutions and wealthy individuals. And yet most people still don't know how accessible alternative investments are. In a recent study, 80% of Americans have either never heard of platforms to invest in these alternatives or don't know much about them, and only 7% are planning to invest in alternatives. So why alternatives and why now? Well, as 
I said, it's much more accessible than ever, but also these investments are seen as a hedge against inflation, and 47% of Americans have an extreme concern about the impact of inflation on their investments, and probably a lot more than that actually now, considering 2022. The top reasons individuals hold alternatives or consider investing in them are the opportunity for better returns than stocks or bonds, the opportunity to invest in something they care about or find interesting, and to feel like they own something tangible. There are too many alt investment sites and apps to list, but feel free to pause the screen to view this list, and I'll include, of course, all my resources from research in the description down below. But personally, I find VinoVest and Masterworks to be the most interesting. Number five, make money with your voice. If video isn't your thing for sites like YouTube and TikTok, consider ways that you can earn passive income with just your voice. The best part? you don't need a lot of experience to get started. For example, consider audiobook narration. On Voices.com, I found an article that says the standard rates commonly range between $200 and $300 an hour of recording. Since audiobooks consist of four to six hours of recording, an audiobook narrator's salary usually works out to about $1,500. But potentially even more passive than that is narrating books through ACX, which is Amazon's platform for listing on Audible. You can choose to get paid paid for completing the project, or you can get paid 50% in royalties that the audiobook sells, AKA you split the earnings with the author after Amazon takes their cut, of course. Now, if the book doesn't sell well, you could earn less, but with this option, you get paid monthly, potentially for years to come. I recorded the audiobooks through ACX for my first two self-published books. There was definitely a learning curve to get started, but I still make anywhere from $20 to about $50 a month. With voice, you can also consider gigs on Fiverr, start your own podcast, pursuing voice acting for movies, TV, faceless YouTube channels, online courses, and even video games. Number six, YouTube Shorts. You've probably heard of YouTube Shorts, but 2023 provides a unique opportunity for short form video content creators. New in 2022 was the YouTube Shorts Fund. This was a $100 million fund to reward creators for their dedication to making creative original shorts that delight the YouTube community. Thousands of creators benefited monthly. For 2023, YouTube has doubled down on short form content. Revenue sharing for shorts ads will begin on February 1st, 2023 replacing the shorts fund. YouTube expects shorts creators to earn more money. As YouTube shorts and the community grows, so do creator earnings. Creators earn 45% of profits from ads and you get paid based on your views in your country. Bottom line, YouTube is going all in on short form content in 2023 to keep up with TikTok. So the time is perfectly ripe for you to take advantage. Finally, before that big announcement, Number seven, high interest savings accounts. It's not sexy, but it works. I keep my cash savings with Ally Bank online and almost weekly since about May or June of this year, I've gotten one of these emails letting me know my savings account rate has gone up. They're literally making fun of themselves at this point with this subject line. It is up to 3.3% at the time of this recording, which is all the way up from a measly 0.5% in early May. Incredible. And by my math, we'll be at 103.3% by the end of 2023. Okay. Maybe not, but it is awesome that we're finally seeing high interest online only savings accounts rates where they used to be in the three to 4% range pre COVID. If nothing else on my list today interests you and you want something guaranteed, consider saving your money online. Now, this isn't a brand new source of passive income, but these rates are brand new. So take advantage, especially if you save with the big banks where interest is basically non-existent. Example, 0.04% at Bank of America, yikes. Okay, it's announcement time, and it's actually kind of a big one as it pertains to this channel. Next week is my last Money Resolution YouTube video. Not of the year, possibly ever. And that might sound sad or whatever, but there's hopefully a happy ending. I've thought long and hard about this decision, and it was a very difficult one to make. As you can imagine, I have mixed feelings about stepping away from this channel and weekly videos. But when one door closes, I'll open up a window or something. There is a pretty big project I've been thinking about trying out for years, but my commitment to weekly videos here and writing three books in three years has made it impossible to pursue that. So I am stepping away from the money resolution so I can fulfill this vision and I'm super excited about it. Wanna know what it is? 
Tune in next week. I can't wait to tell all of you about it, but until then, give me your best guesses in the comments. For the second to last time, my name is Frankie. Have an awesome week or weekend ahead, and I hope to see you next week for the last time on the next one. Thanks. Okay, I'll give you a hint. The topic of today's video is related. And if this is the future, check out the pinned comment down below. I'll let you know what it is.